Hey everyone, Mr. Mom Collectibles, I am back with another video, and today I'm going to be counting down my top five most anticipated hot toy pre-orders that are scheduled to be released in 2024. Let's get into the list. Number five is going to be the Sand Trooper Sergeant and Dewback. Uh, it has an expected ship date of July 24 to December 24, coming in at $705 before tax and shipping on Sideshow. When this piece was announced, I was over the moon about it. We saw it teased a little bit, and it was something that I just wasn't sure Hot Toys was actually going to uh, or, you know, announce. And so it's a great looking piece. I love it. It's an original trilogy, which is grandfathered into my rule of uh, you know being pre-ordered. And what I like about this is that it's really fitting into where I want my collection to now go, which are a little bit larger larger pieces that I can really build scenes around and have multiple interactions with the figures. So you have, you know, they said the Sand Trooper Sergeant here that you can buy with the Dewback and then the figure separately. And it's going to pair so nicely with the A New Hope Sand Trooper that I already have and um, build a little scenery around it. So it's not going to be a piece for everybody because you got to have the space for it, not only with the budget, but it's going to look really, really great in the display that I have in mind set up for this piece. I am only going to be pre-ordering one, but with this and a couple troopers, I think it's going to be a killer display. So number five is going to be the sand trooper sergeant and do back all right so coming in at number four kind of keeping with that theme of larger pieces that are going to be focal points in the collection it is going to be the iron man mark 6 2.0 with gantry now i know i know i know oh, another iron man how could it be well this is a unique one for me because this brings me back to the time when i missed out when i started collecting in 2020 i had the opportunity to buy the iron man mark 4 gantry at retail and unfortunately passed up on it because my focus was on other things so i always had my eye on that i always wanted a gantry piece as a focal point and when this popped up as a 2.0 i mean and this is actually a suit that i originally didn't like as much in iron man 2 but fell in love with it with the avengers and so mark six is definitely up there in a lot of collectors like top three top five iron man suits and so it just looks really great and i love the actual head sculpt it's something different from hot toys with the eye rolling system which is, i believe it's one of the first if not the first uh Iron Man to do so. Um, it just, and it's such a captivating piece. It's going to be a focal point. I'm going to build my collection around. And that is another thing I'm looking for with my Iron Man shelf. It's an original suit. So that's another, uh, you know, when I talk about the grandfather rule, there's a couple of rules I have on pre ordering. And number one, when it comes to Iron Man, is the original seven. The original seven suits, the Hall of Armor, they're pretty much almost a guarantee slam dunk pre order. Anything outside of that, I do have to kind of take, you know, some stock in it and figure out if it's for me. But this one is easily coming home it's an expected ship of january 24 to june 24 so it's not that far away if you think about it i only have a few payments left on it and it's uh 660 dollars before tax and shipping and this is currently on wait list so if there's something you're interested in and uh, if you don't have any backup sites with this available both versions are on wait list um so if you want to jump on that and you know hopefully get one but number four the iron man mark 6 2.0 with suit up gantry now, coming at number three is something that's interesting. It's the Artisan Anakin Skywalker edition from Hot Toys. It is the four. Coming in at number three is the Anakin Skywalker Artisan, Artisan Edition, expected to ship July 24 to December 24, coming in at $450, $15. With ta you know before tax and shipping now it says here that i'm on the wait list but i did actually secure this piece uh through alternate sources before you know afterwards so uh you know i already have this figure locked up but this is an interesting one because i really want to see what H hot toys is doing with the artisan series now technically i could have combined this and the joker either one of them i'm really interested in but i wanted to put an artisan figure on the list because this is the first incarnation really aside from the wb100 with the the wolf rooted hair and some of the upgrades now, I am a little disappointed with this figure because I really do think that um, the soft goods on this should have been leather. And unfortunately, Hot Toys at this time have not delivered with that. So that definitely is a downside. But I also don't own an Anakin Skywalker in my collection. So I won't lie. Some of that is definitely bumping this one up on the list for me. The fact that it's a figure that I don't even actually have. And so the fact that, you know, it's an artisan, it's the first of this new line of what Hot Toys is putting out. Um, it just really has a lot more curious than anything to see what the quality of the figure is like as i said i have the wb 100 wonder woman but that's not technically an artisan figure that's kind of i consider that like the mark one version of where they're going and now this is their full-fledged you know dx artisan series line and so i'm just really interested 
you know, getting in on the ground level of these, what it's actually going to bring to the table and if I'm going to be satisfied with the quality of it. So this is something that I'm very intrigued about and something that I'm really looking forward to. So number three on the list is the Artisan series Anakin Skywalker. And if you want to put slash Joker, um, I kind of wanted to combine them both together, but I'm putting this one in there because I'm a little more excited for the Anakin over the Joker personally. All right, so coming in at number two is the thumbnail of this video, but you might have been surprised. Maybe those who know me very well might have expected this or maybe even the 89 Batman to be my number one pick, but no, no, no. I had to you know throw a little bit of a curveball. But coming at number two is actually going to be the Batman modern suit from The Flash. I could have also included the 89 Batman. That one um, maybe will be an honorable mention because I have the original one, and that one really does pique my curiosity to see the upgrades of the 89 you know, if you want to call it a 2.0 compared to the original, um, I for one thought that the original DX 89 Batman really didn't need much of an upgrade. But when I saw the photos, I was very shocked in terms of all the minor upgrades done to it. But the reason why the modern suit is on the list is because it's a totally new suit. And we also get uh, old man Bruce Wayne head sculpt, which I absolutely love. I think that is an unbelievable likeness to Michael Keaton personally. It arguably could be one of the best head sculpts out there. It's definitely could be easily make a top 10, but I love it because it actually, the hot, this was the first time, if you think about it, that we actually got to see the new modern suit. When this was announced, we really didn't get a lot of great photos of the suit. We got, you know, behind the scenes, uh, you know, things like that. But this was really a lot to digest when this was actually announced, because for me, it was really giving me the opportunity to see the upgraded suit, the modern suit in its full entirety while I was looking at the Hot Toys figure. And so it just really was awesome to look at. And I absolutely love the suit and how they took the classic version and just gave it a nice upgrade without, um, you know, drifting too much away from the, you know, the suits that we loved, the 89 and the 92 Batman Returns. I think that even the cowled skull look fantastic me personally i have two of these on pre-order because i want to have one displayed with the michael keaton sculpt bruce wayne and one with the cow i'm not someone that normally doubles up on figures but this is one that i, I really felt like i really needed to have two just as a batman fan as much as I love Michael Keaton, he is my favorite Batman. So that being said, I really felt like I needed to have two of these to have it properly displayed in its entire capacity. So for me, my number two most anticipated Hot Toys release is the modern suit Batman. Expected to ship July 24 to December 24. Retails for $310 before tax and shipping on Sideshow. Now, before we get into it, you got to be wondering, well, what could number one be? If it wasn't Batman, uh, I've already mentioned an Iron Man. I didn't want to double up on any figures in this list. It's, you know, there's no really major Spider-Man figures coming out. You know, Toby and all that stuff has already been announced. It can't be the Batman because, you know, the 22 Batman was already announced technically last year. I do have it on pre-order. But what could be my number one most anticipated hot toy scheduled to be released in 2024 it, give you a hint, it is a Star Wars uh, character. It was one that was mentioned in previous videos, and that one will have to be the Darth Vader Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary figure. Um, I went through this list a few times, and still, I remember when this was announced and how I reacted to it. I reacted even more enthusiastic about this than I did the modern suit Batman or the 89 Batman. Um, there was just pure joy. Uh, it's just, once again, it's original trilogy. It's Darth Vader. It's just, it came with the full package, the, you know, the, the head sculpts, the helmeted version. It just, it's such a classic iconic look, the diorama display base, the, you know, led, you know, USB powered lightsabers, the light up base, all that stuff. I believe this was MMS 700. So it it came out, you know, a month before Return of the Jedi 40th. Yes, it kind of set the expectation or the anticipation for collectors that we would get more 40th anniversary. I know it leaves a bad taste in collectors' mouths that were let down with the lack of figures that we might have gotten. But I was just so over the moon about this figure. It is expected to ship July 24 to December 24. Um, this is the deluxe edition at $350 and the collector's edition at $305. I have the deluxe edition um, with the steps available. I won't lie. I am considering getting another one. Why is that? Because the, the display options. 
like the modern suit Batman, this is one that I really think I want to have displayed both ways with the helmet on and with the sculpt on. And I'm actually even thinking about doing a little diorama setup with um, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker and having that kind of father and son moment when uh, he's being, you know, he has his arm over, uh, you know, Luke's shoulder and he's being carried off with the, you know, his um, hand cut off. So I'm kind of thinking about doing something like that. I am hoping that, you know, I'm kind of leaving a little bit of faith out there that we might get a couple more Return of the Jedi figures maybe next year. I was anticipating another Luke Skywalker. It was kind of expected if they were going to go heavy into the, the 40th. But if I don't, I'll track one down on the aftermarket not too concerned about that but as of right now i only have one of these on order but i am anticipating i am thinking about another one i'll kind of play the blue screen uh blue screen game with this um if not there's a couple backup sites i really only need like a, i have a deluxe on order i might just get a regular one because i don't need all the features of the deluxe but we'll see what happens but for me when i remember when this was announced just i remember exactly where i was in just the unbelievable excitement when this was announced this and then you know we also had 3po but i mean there's nothing that took that can take that away from me even now and so you know that for me i there was there was really no way i couldn't have made this my number one number so, five the sand trooper sergeant and Duback. number four is the iron man mark 6 2.0 with gantry number three is the artisan series anakin skywalker slash joker you can kind of combine them together um the next one is the batman modern suit but not too far behind that would be that 89 suit. But the modern suit is I'm more anticipated for that because it's something fresh that I don't have. And number one is the Darth Vader Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary figure. So there you have it, guys. That's my list of my most, you know, my top five most anticipated hot toys scheduled to be released this year. You know, obviously not foreseeing any you know delays or anything like that. They're all slated to come out. Um, but like I said, guys, that's my list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like on this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel if this is in fact your first time. And more importantly, drop a comment below and let me know what your top five list is because I'm curious to know, or even top one. But, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. Until then, this is Mr. Mom Collectibles saying take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.